I still remember seeing the ad for the Regal Apartments in the paper. It's easy for people to look at it and see a dingy, run-down shithole. But me? I saw a place with history and character. I saw a place full of artistic inspiration. Before I knew it, I was the official tenant of apartment 3A. Looking back on it, I wish I had never even unpacked. My new apartment turned out to have more character than I had anticipated. The carpets were occasionally soggy, the pipes were rusty, and I could hear the tenant below me banging against the walls and screaming at the top of his lungs. Sure, there were other problems with the place, but they just added to its charm. They were things I could live with. What I couldn't live with was showering in brown water, mysterious leaks molding the carpet, and obnoxious neighbors. I called the plumber, who arrived just as I was about to have a word with the people downstairs. When I showed him the wet spots on the carpet, he scratched his head and explained that nothing was leaking and that the reason for the wet spots was most likely due to me spilling something and not realizing it. Did this guy take me for an idiot? I never spilled a thing. He apologized and said that without a leak, there's nothing he could do, so he moved on to the shower. Thankfully, the water had no trouble turning brown. He thought it could be an issue with a rusty boiler and went to check it out. I took the opportunity to address the tenants below. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. In fact, I couldn't hear anything at all. I tried the door, expecting it to be locked, but it just swung open. I was shocked to find it completely empty. That's when wet footprints began to appear on the floor. They were headed right for me. Just then I could hear the plumber scream from the boiler room downstairs. By the time I ran down there, he was long gone, but he had discovered the source of the brown water. Packed into the old rusty boiler was a bloated, decomposing corpse. The police are still investigating the homicide and the landlord has promised to renovate the boiler room. However, despite his efforts, 3A is back on the market, and I doubt I'll ever feel clean again.